I would like to welcome you all to the celebration of their marriage, Mr. and Mrs. Good. Well, Gil, you've finally gone and done it. Man of your dreams. I'm the proudest father of the person you've become. And I know I'm biased, but you look absolutely amazing. This is the man who's stolen my daughter's heart. This kind, generous. I've seen firsthand the love and respect they have for each other. And with the love and support of you all, their love will continue to grow. I give you this ring of a symbol of my love. I promise to cherish you, comfort you and care for you for as long as I live. Christopher and Chelsea, today you have made a commitment to stand together. You have given the most precious gift of love. Treasure that love, nurture it and encourage it and may you live full, rich, and most importantly, very happy lives together. It gives me great pleasure to declare that you are now husband and wife, and you may kiss your bride. Chris is the best brother that anyone could hope for, and I'm so proud to be here today to see him being married. Although Chris has always been a happy guy, I've never known him happier than when he's with Chelsea. Chelsea's put so much energy and effort in today, and she's done so much, all the organising, planning, but what she doesn't know is that I've done just as much. I've agreed with everything she said, and <laughs> And I think that's what's going to make me a great husband. <laughs> Which brings me on to Chelsea. She really is amazing. She's always putting others first before herself. She's kind, generous, and beautiful in every way. I'm the luckiest man in the world knowing I've got you in my life. I love you. <laughs> Can we raise a glass to my beautiful bride, Charles?
Chris was the first person I heard say, you don't marry the person you can live with, you marry the person you can't live without. I think that sums up Chris and Chelsea perfectly. <laughs>